Is there anyone who still doubts that life is where all things are possible? Who still wonders that dreams can't come true by preparing hard? I am the answer. The answer is best told by the three aces of my life. The three aces that change my life. My reward for continuing to believe in my dream came in the year 2011. It started by 3,000 applications and three attempts. It was on the 4th of March 2011 that I got selected to the Honeywell Educators at Space Academy in partnership with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center organizes professional development for educators from around the world, especially middle school math and science teachers, so as to become more effective educators in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Educators are empowered with supplemental teaching techniques through simulated training and innovative educational tools so as to help bring science to life in the classroom. I attended the Honeywell Scholarship at Huntsville, Alabama. And it was a, a moment to cherish. Wow, what an experience. It was for the first time I was traveling abroad, and that too, on an all-expenses-paid trip. For a girl from a small town, Dhule, in Maharashtra, this was a dream come true. For a teacher from a small city, there was a lot of work to be done. My soul and mind were aligned. But you know what? I had to get my body into shape for the rigor of the program. Various activities such as zip line crossing from a stationed helicopter into a lake, deep diving, rotating on an axis, moon walking, and many more. What an adventure it was. This is my first ace. The story of my second ace draws inspiration from my first ace. Back from the US visit, I applied for the Space Foundation's Teacher Liaison Program. This Teacher Liaison Program is very unique as it trains teachers to integrate space learning in the curriculum as well as acts as a link between the school and the community. So earlier, just 20 educators from the US were selected for this program. And in 2012, it was opened for all. I applied in January 2012 and Guess what? I got selected as the first international teacher. And my photo in the newspaper, it was like for the first time, yes. My lesson plan on the effect of gravity on humans and plants on Earth and in space was selected. I have achieved my goal. Thrilled with this achievement, my school sponsored my visit to attend the educators meet at Colorado Springs to meet the other educators and seek the best practices. I interacted with the educators and discussed the modern teaching techniques practiced over there. This is my second ace. A key learning for me during this visit has been 
that teaching can be fun when using the principles of experimentation and evidence based stem that is science technology engineering and mathematics can be best taught when rather than telling a concept the teacher demonstrates it through an example or a story let me go back a little i had always been fasc fascinated by the vast universe the stars and this curiosity initiated my dream the milky way i had imagined as a wide band in my, across the sky in my dreams and thus this had initiated my journey now this wasn't enough i wanted my students to participate in my dream and reach new horizons by going beyond what the textbooks can offer this was the beginning of my third ace which guided me to pursue teaching as a vehicle to venture into space learning yes through my wonderful students i started the space club so that students can gain more knowledge about space with 12 highly enthusiastic students on board we participated in the international space settlement contest organized by nasa the project was called astrius named after the powerful greek god of wind the scope was fairly large and included all the categories from space settlement a town development finances resources and setting up industries in the space yeah the objective was to create a settlement similar to the one present on the earth it was taxing for the students to wait after school twice a week and carry out the project with sheer determination and hard work we completed it our joy knew no bounds when we achieved the second position in grade 8 internationally beating many other projects from the different countries <laughs> this was true success to me what my students have achieved that is all joy what i want what i cherish as a teacher my learning approach is not teacher based but learner based i start by asking questions so as to allow the students to predict the outcome carry out the experiments observe the results and conclude this in itself ensures learning the student will never forget what he or she has learned the experiments have continued here you can see our eighth standard they have created a herbal garden keeping three main points in their mind that is using minimum space minimum resources and recycling the students researched and recorded the growth pattern compared it with the other herbs and they have thoroughly enjoyed the activity the basic concept behind doing this particular project was that at the space station in a limited space and just the resources essential resources plants can be grown in a simulated atmosphere another activity which our students just enjoy doing it is to design a space shuttle which could land 
a raw egg safely to the ground. To ensure safety, the teachers first carried out the experiment themselves. The students too, they just enjoyed it. And it was done to make them aware that in case of an emergency, if the space shuttle has to land with an astronaut, it has to be better done very safely, similar to the fragile outer layer of the egg. So the concepts of gravity, speed, design, acceleration, and creativity were cleared. In this particular photograph, you can see a ninth standard at the GMRT, the Giant Meter Radio Telescope, located at Narangao, Pune, where they learned about the functioning and gained more knowledge about it. Yes, it is one of the biggest in Asia, and they were very happy to be present there. Our reward has continued. Our rewarding journey has continued. On the 4th of October, 2013, 115 students from class 8 had a live interaction with astronaut Dr. Leroy Chow. He was there at the Space Foundation Colorado Springs and our students here in Pune. It was for the first time they were interacting with an astronaut. Dr. Leroy Chow has orbited the Earth 508 times and stayed at the space station for a duration of six months. The interaction was highly educative and inspiring. Our students had prepared a number of questions and they were very happy with the answers given by Dr. Leroy Chow. They learned about the hard work and efforts needed to become an astronaut. Thus, it was a very good beginning to, to start the beginning of the World Space Week, which started from the 4th of October. I would like to close with a statement which has stayed on with me, made by astronaut Dr. Don Thomas. That is, kids of today are going to Mars tomorrow. The future is in the hands of our students. I do believe that people will be achieving goals as big as going to Mars. The contribution of their teachers will be no less. The love and imagination for space will be envisioned by a dear student leaving behind a legacy to follow by the other teachers. The successful launch of Mangalyaan or the Mars Mission Orbiter by ISRO is truly a milestone and it fits in with, the, with pointing our students towards exploring space. And thus, I always try to tell my students to learn more and more about space, to read from the newspapers and everything, gain more and more information about space. So, as educators, we are remembered by our students. So, why not be a role model by moving beyond boundaries? Thank you. Thank you.